Why did your anime games? Delta and Blue. And we have another duel in our seven stars wave. This is Donza Lug's deck played by Delta versus the Chaz played, played by, by Blue. Blue. So I got a four. And the Chaz will start us off with a six. Two. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying all of these uh, duels versus Shao Riders and all of these, uh, these new decks. I'm going to set a monster, set two cards, and uh, end my turn. I'll draw. I will set a monster and end my turn. <clears throat> yeah, Chaz was an interesting character. He was kind of like Kaiba with a little bit of the comedic relief of Joey and... I mean, for me and a lot of others, I think they didn't quite hit that mark right. Like, I definitely found him a little annoying at first. He, I think he became, like, just a caricature of Kaiba. Yeah. But he had some good arcs and, you know, matured and became helpful with the group later on, especially in the first season. And that was cool to see. Uh, so, first, I'll use Ojama Trio. Mm. All right. Summoning three tokens to my field. Blocking me up a little bit here. That'll be the empty spot to summon something. Summon Armor Dragon level 3. Mm-hmm. I'll tack your face down. Chick the yellow. And I'll uh, end my turn. I'll draw. I'm going to summon Don Zalug. I'm just going to go ahead and activate Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. To summon out Gorg the Strong. Because I have Don Zalug. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, well, theoretically, if I had more Dark Scorpions in my hand, unfortunately, I can't summon them. That Ojama Trio is actually uh, really blocking me. All right, let's have Don Zalug try to attack the Arm Dragon level 3. Okay. You will take 100, and yay, we get to see Dark Scorpion effects. Now, given the choice between setting the top two cards of uh, Blue's deck, or discarding a random card. I think I'm going to go have to go with discarding a random card. Let's just hit that one. And then Gorg the Strong will attack your set. And uh, that'll be it for me. And guys, by the way, if you are not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. Because uh, you don't want to miss any of these uploads. We're doing two a week right now. I end. I'll draw. Uh, Gorg the Strong, attack directly. Yes. You will mill the top card of your deck. Let's see if it's a good one. And then Don's Lug will attack for 1,400. Yes. All right. Off to a good start and a lot of damage for Don's Lug. Would Let's... you like to randomly discard the only card in my hand? Yes, I would like to randomly discard it. You have sent to the graveyard, Despair from the Dark. Boy. This card is sent from, to the graveyard from the deck of the hand. Special summon it. Oh, not good for me. <clears throat> All right. Well, I will set one card and uh, end my turn. On your end phase, I'll use Call of the Haunted to return Armed Dragon level 3 to my side of the field. Wow, well, that worked out really well for the Chaz. That is pretty fun to say. I will, I will say that much. Draw, use its effect to send it to the graveyard, my standby phase. Special summon Arm Dragon level 5. Set one card face down. Despair from the Dark will attack uh, Gorg the Strong. I'll take a thousand. Gorg not so strong. I'm dragging level five will attack Don Zalug. I will take a thousand. I will end and then use level five's effect. Mm hmm. To summon Arm Dragon level 7. Draw. 
I'll activate Pot of Greed. That's always a card you want to see off the top. Hmm. I will set one card and simply pass. By the way, guys, we will have deck profiles for both of these decks coming out. Obviously, Don's Lug is a new deck, and Chaz actually had quite a few revisions that we feel made his Season 1 deck much better. So you can look for both of those to be coming out soon. Uh, Despair from Dark will attack the face down. Check the yellow. And Arm Dragon will attack a token. All right, and I will take 300 points of damage. And then I will end and reveal another Ojama Trio. Oh, boy. Joyous occasion. Really, really what I wanted to see. And there's another token. Uh, these are not the most accurate tokens, but uh, you know, they're all anime tokens. Guys, we also have a TCG Player affiliate link in the description. We buy a lot of our cards to TCG Player, and if you're shopping for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, please consider using our link to support the channel. Well, they can't be attributed, right? Nope. I guess I'll set one more card and end my turn. Draw end. Draw. Set and end. Set end. Let's uh in your end phase use MST on the card you just set. Hmm. Alright, I will draw. Ah, uh, riveting stuff and guys, you go be like that sometimes. Draw end. Draw. Well, I'll end. Man, guys, it does not feel good to play with, uh, out being able to summon a monster. I'll end my turn. God, no, please stop. Set. Set and end. I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Nice. This card lets me draw two cards from my deck. <gasps> That's what it does? And I'll set a card and end my turn. I'll draw. Before my standby phase, I'll activate Needle Wall. During your standby phase, roll a six-sided die once. Show your opponent's monster card zones as one to five, counting from my right. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, destroy the monster that's in the same monster card zone as the die result. If the die result is six, roll again. So I'll uh, standby phase, I'll attempt to do that. So you need three or four. Yes, let's see. Oh, must be my lucky day. What can I say? But, uh... I can't do much else, so I'll end. I'll activate Giant Tree oh, Maid. This will turn every, car, every spell and trap card on the field to the owner's hands, but I will chain with Treasure Maid. Ah, I started picking on the cards too early. <sighs> well, it doesn't negate the yeah, effect. It yeah. just lets me... Draw two cards, and then discard one from my hand. A classic Chaz combo. Honestly, this Chaz deck is playing really well, guys. I'm excited for the deck profile, and I know what's in there. Now we can pick up all my cards again. Yeah, I just have a <clears throat> ten-card hand. That's it. <laughs> I will set... I'll end. I'll draw. Well, let's do a set, a set, a set, and I'll end discarding a Dark Scorpion combination. Oh, I still need to discard one from my hand. All right, by Cliff. There it is. An original printing of Cliff the Trap Remover without Dark Scorpion in it. Dark Scorpion, I think this is where it ends for you. I hope not. I'll use the effect of Arm Dragon level 7. Okay. By discarding a monster from my hand, destroying all monsters on your field with an attack equal to or less than. Or is it just less than? So really, it <sighs> equal less than. Just had to have 100 attack. And there you go. All those tokens, I take 300 for each token destroyed. Ouch. 
And then next, Arm Dragon level seven will attack directly. There's a 2800. I can't stop it. If that wasn't enough, I'll reveal my face down card. Hmm, could that be something he bounced back? I'll reveal my Ring of Destruction trap card. Oh, I thought it was going to be called Haunted. Now, quickly keep me in mind, Ring of Destruction has been eroded by us. Mm -hmm. To its original printed effect, which mirrors the enemy effect of targeting a monster, destroy it, and both take that monster attack as damage, uh, as opposed to whatever the newest thing Konami came up with just to get it off the ban list. Like, I don't know. Which means... These life points of mine dropped to zero. And uh, that's the game. I was so close to pulling off a Dark Scorpion combination on you. I could have gotten back Don's Lug and the other Dark Scorpion I needed. But Double Drama Trio works the way it's supposed to. Yeah, so at least that was pretty cool from Chaz's deck. Got to see the Arm Dragon level 7 come out. That was the same way the anime duel went. And uh, anyway, guys. More duels against Shadow Riders are going to be coming out, so make sure you're subscribed and uh, why join the games out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like that, we have over 100 character decks brought to life from the anime here on our channel, so go check those out. And make sure you're subscribed and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video.